All right, relief tile um, part three. So you can see I've gotten a little bit further here. Um, I'm struggling a little bit with the kind of nice volume that this area has inside the ear and also <clears throat> the different depths of things. Like you see this element really goes down into the ear. And for the most part, a lot of this is all at the same level. So you can take this as far as you like. Um, one thing I did notice is I've, I've lost some volume here, right? There's that indent there, but then this has got some volume. So I could try to push clay into that earlobe to make it have more volume. Or if your clay is still sticky, now this is really important. If it's still malleable plastic clay and the surface is still sticky, you can get away with taking some material as long as you're not trapping air behind it. So sometimes I like to make a little cone like this. That way this point gets pushed in there and I know I'm not trapping air behind it, right? So in other words, like you put the point of the cone in there and then you can kind of layer some material in there. Now, if you do this over and over again and build clay up like this and the clay's not sticky, it's gonna wanna crack and fall off if you build up a really, if I just keep adding clay like that. So you may have to resort to waiting for the clay to stiffen up a little bit or do some slipping and scoring to be additive in that regard. Um, for the most part, I try to stay generally working in more of a realm of subtractive and pushing clay around. I try to stay away from adding clay if I'm doing a relief just because it, it's, it's way quicker this way and it's all kind of one piece. Now, having said that, you know, if you go too far, then you've got to come in and add. So, you know, one of the things I was talking about is how this goes down, right? So that element goes down, right? And this is one of the deeper spaces. I may need to get a, a tool to kind of push in there, right? That's where it goes into your your um, your um ear canal, right? So getting the character of that going back and then kind of opening into a wider kind of form as it comes down into this space will be challenging, but I think I can do it. So I've added a little bit of material here. I've come in here. I kind of have what's called roughing in um, this relief or the, the, the form, the form aspects of this relief. I've kind of got it roughed in. So I'm, I'm starting to probably get into some more detail oriented work. So I almost need almost there where I could kind of walk away and let it kind of stiffen up a bit. Um, I'm missing that little out, out piece there. Um, see, there's like that action comes around and there's this spot that also goes back and a little thing that sticks out in the middle there. So that's, so it, again, I'm just doing a lot of looking, um, trying to to rough this form in further. And then there will be a point where I will let it dry a little bit and work at it over the next clay stage when it's kind of more leather hard. Now, at this point, you can kind of, you know, smooth some of this area off if you want it smooth, or maybe the background, you're, you can contemplate a texture later. So maybe you don't take too much of this clay away. Maybe you're gonna think about how it's gonna transition over here. Um, but again, so this is roughed in. I'll probably let this sit. I can probably cut off some clay if I wanted to not let it dry out too much, um, just so that it doesn't dry out and I don't necessarily waste it. But I, I may just wait.